Σήμερα η καλημέρα μας θα είναι πιο ροκ από άλλες φορές, καθώς μαζί μας στο στούντιο βρίσκεται ο Κωνσταντίνος Μαρούλης. Έγινε γνωστό στο Αμερικάνικο κοινό από το American Idol. Στη συνέχεια ξεκινήσε καριέρα τραγουδιστή και ηθοποιού. Έχει στενές σχέσεις με την ελληνική κοινότητα και έχει τιμηθεί από το Hellenic Times Scholarship Funds Humanitarian Award. Constantine Maroulis became a household name after his participation on the fourth season of American Idol and then took Broadway by storm in the cult hit Rock of Ages. Since then, his star has continued to rise and he recently starred in the Broadway revival of Jekyll and Hyde. Kalimera, Constantine. Kalimera. Did you understand anything I said from the Greek part? Yes. All right, give me five. He speaks Greek. A little bit, yeah, I understand it quite well. Uh, do you know, I, I grew up so Americanized here in New York. My parents were both born here in Brooklyn. Uh, actually, we're not in Brooklyn, but <laughs> close In enough. New York, but Brooklyn. Yeah, so, uh, but I grew up very traditional. I just, I just didn't speak as much Greek around the house, so I just, it didn't, you know. Tell me about your family. Your mom and dad, are they first generation and your, your grandparents were here first? Yes, my grandparents came here quite a long time ago, you know, in the, in the teens. Um, and teens, uh, wow. Yeah, man. They met here in Brooklyn? I mean, in Brooklyn, in New York? No, I think they came over. They came they over, came over married? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> in their teens. <laughs> No, well, in, in the 19-teens. Oh, 19s, not their teens. In the 19s. 1900s. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, my parents were born in the early 1930s, you know, so they, uh, they've been around a long time. Wow. And so, where are your uh, grandparents from? Um, my mother's side is from uh, Yanina. Yeah, that's where my, my we're, we're yeah. from. Uh huh. Yeah, Yanina. My dad. And my my father's side is from like all over Ithaki. Uh, all over Ithaki. Oh, beautiful, yeah, Ithaki. beautiful. Ithaki is absolutely gorgeous. So, do you travel to Greece? Sometimes, sometimes I do. You know, with with this sort of Broadway work schedule, there's not much room for much else in your life. Uh, so, but I enjoy it. And uh, I look like I'm on vacation. We today. love it. Yes, and you should be on vacation. He works a lot. I, I mean, came in full uh, double pool attire. Shows for, and yeah, we love it though. You know, I love it, and uh, I rely on my 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 Greek work ethic uh, to get me through. And and I, I do very much enjoy the the schedule and uh, the grind. Well, you sing a lot of different uh, types of music. What type of music do you like to? relax to? What type of music do you like to wake up to? Tell us a little bit about what you like. Wow, you know, I think a lot of my fans know I love sports, you know. Uh, I, I love, I love... Uh, are, you, are you a Knicks fan? I am, I am, I'm a... I'm, <laughs> you better I'm, say I'm Knicks, a, you're in New York. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a Yankees fan. Okay, I'm a good. big Yankees and big New York Giants fan football. And uh, I love basketball, and, uh, but I've never really been hardcore about the Knicks or the Nets, so... Um, but, you know, so a lot of my downtime, I like to enjoy sports and uh, traveling, you know, and going for a ride and, you know, going down the shore and things like that. And, you know, in those sort of brief moments of uh, off time and stuff. But um, music I like, you know, there's some great stuff out there that's current. I went to the Songwriters Hall of Fame last week. Last year, I, I performed with, with Meatloaf. Oh, and wow. everyone was there. Bob Seger. Um, you know, it was just, it was, it was Great amazing, experience. amazing experience. And this year was the biggest one they've ever had. Um, Steven Tyler and Joe Perry were inducted. They performed. Nickelback performed. Elton John was there with Bernie Taupin, his writing partner. They were sitting right next to me. Sting inducted them. There was only 500 people there and, and all of us. And the original Foreigner lineup got up there. So that, like that stuff for me, you know, that era of rock is just, that's the best, know, you know, classic you. 70s rock for me is... That's my era too. Love what it. do you think about the singer from Foreigner? Well, the original singer of Foreigner is one of the best. Like the, um, the, 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 well, the, the guy who's yeah. touring Isn't with the now... Isn't he phenomenal? He can sing. I mean, he's amazing. But I'll tell you what, Lou Graham, the original, still wails. He was like, Jout! Box heroes wailing up there. I mean, he doesn't look the same anymore. But the guy um, that they, the tour with now is very good. Uh, but it's weird. It's there's like no Mick Jones. There's no you know Lou Graham. The music I, is still alive. But it's the music, That's what I'm sure. saying. It's alive. That music is never gonna die. That's Not right. I'm a rock fan. Now look what I'm wearing. Look at you. That's <laughs> <I> a classic. <laughs> I bought this when I went over to interview him years ago. And I just, I saw his show three times. Whoever has not seen Rock of Ages, you are missing out. Especially in, I mean, I'm a 90s girl, so 
80s and 90s girl, but that, that, that rock era. That was from, I think you originally saw us off Broadway. Yeah. Originally at the that's New right, World that's stages. That's right, that's right. And then the show became this like phenomenon and we moved right to Broadway and it's like it being just in a concert. Off. We wanted to get up and sing and dance. They were like, please sit down, please sit down. <laughs> we wanted to just stand up. Well, it was a lot of fun. And uh, to make something like that, this sort of what sounds like almost like a stoner idea, um, to have it become this amazing artistic achievement and to be a part of it from the beginning, get the Tony nomination. Huge. So Broadway and cinema film is very different. Tell us about your sure. experience with that. Well, you know, I don't, I don't do a lot of film. I'd like to be able to be a part of it more. Um, I was uh, involved with the Rock of Ages movie, yes, which so. was it was insane. I mean, to see you know this little baby that you uh, you started with. You no, know, yeah, and and to see it explode so big in such a short amount of time with Tom Cruise and everybody. Now I don't know if they made the movie that everyone wanted. I love the made. show. I like the Broadway show better. Well, it's a different thing. But yeah. I love Tom Cruise. So when you see Tom Cruise rock out <laughs> like that, his body, just the way he sang, was that his voice? People don't really know. He, yeah, it was. It was his <laughs> voice. I mean, uh, he's definitely got a voice in there, and you know, they helped him out a That's little amazing. bit. That's amazing. What, what film does. Well, film and everything else. Everything else. A lot of tricks. But also, with your personal life, you have a gorgeous little baby girl. I do, I do. She's two and a half. Uh, Milena is her name. And uh, she is wonderful. She's a little Greek baby. Oh, it's so you know, cute. She's not 100% Greek, but she... Um, she's got the Greek DNA. That's all I can. She does. She's very much uh, Maruli. <laughs> uh, yeah. And your parents are happy and your family and they have a... My parents have been married over 50 years. Oh, God bless them. Yeah, that's, so see, they've, that's a um, great example. Beautiful. They've been, they've been married over 50 years. They live nearby in New Jersey. I see them all the time and uh, I'll be out there a little bit um, over the weekend with the baby. It's nice to leave the city and, and uh, yeah. hang out in the yard and and all of that, and she loves it too. I think it's good for her to get out there and you know see her parents. Well, life has changed. Yeah, yeah, and papu. Yeah, 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 and papu. Life has changed for the better. It's getting better and better. Working hard. I got a new project coming up that will. Um, Tell us about it. Well, you know, I think I, I've been so lucky uh, with my experiences on Broadway and these opportunities to create new roles that I, I want to step on the other side as well and uh, and help produce. Uh, you know, new works. So uh, there's a couple of new titles in the works that I'm excited about. But you know, I won't bore you with the details. No, yet. no, we want to hear it. We want to hear it. But... Well, there there is one piece that I've been working on um, for a while now. Uh, it's called the Toxic Avenger, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, it's a superhero comic book musical uh, based on on the same title uh, comic book from the '80s and the Saturday morning cartoon. But of course, originally based on the Lloyd Kaufman uh, That's cult. That's created a very, very horror fil flick by the same title, The Toxic Avenger. It's got this sort of dark, you know, comedy uh, edge to it. And it's, you know, but um, it's a lot of fun. David Bryan from Bon Jovi wrote it uh, with Joe DiPietro. They won the the Tony for best musical yes. for Memphis. They wrote yes. Memphis, and uh, so it's like a rock, you know, superhero, fun, satirical, crazy piece, and. Uh, you know, it's it's a comedy, uh, but we're we're excited about it, and you know, we're hoping to to bring that to Broadway um, potentially this year. You know, so it's oh, exciting. We're, we're going to look forward uh, to that, and Constantine is an example to us all, especially the Greek American kids watching. He went to college, he he continued his studies, he became a superstar, and uh, we are very happy that you represent you represent Greece. That's right. And what part of Greece is your favorite part when you travel? When well. You I mean, how can you deny, you know? Don't tell me Mikono too. <laughs> how can you, how can you deny Mikono, you know? Um, but, but you're not a club guy. You're a club guy, or do you like to go rock out? I do, you know, I grew up in the nightlife in New York, you know, going all the time. So I, I, I can fall back into that quite easily. Easily, and have Mykonos, a good time, yeah. You know, just, mm. But I'll tell you, it wears you out, you know, but it's beautiful, you know. Uh, um, Saru and uh, Paraga Beach, uh -huh. right? Uh, those were really, that was a good time, you know? And it's nice when, you know, those couple of weeks in August, a lot of New Yorkers are there too, so you see a lot of yes, your Yes, probably a lot of your friends, stuff. right? Yeah. You have a lot of Greek American friends or just a mixed I group? Do, I do, uh, I do. They're a little separate, you know, from like my normal <laughs> you set. You like to separate her. <laughs> separate these guys. Because the Greek American thing is just for the Greek Americans, the humor, it's the whole It's hard for yeah. them to understand a lot of like, you know, the GA thing. Yeah. <laughs> well,
Constantine, thank you for coming to Calimera USA. We want you to leave uh, our viewers with a message. All right, well, where are we? Is that me? Hey, hi. Okay, uh, well, well, let's take Oh, I love that. Out. He's rocking out, hair's down. And, uh, I was going to ask you to do I, that, but I wasn't sure. Well, I didn't even to shower this morning, to be honest. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> not really. I, um, what message is there other than, you know, just love each other. You know, I know there's a lot of, whew, there's a lot of stuff going on in Greece right now. And, um, you know, but that, just know that everyone here is thinking of everyone there. And uh, we know as, as Greek people that we'll pull through this, these, uh, this times of turmoil and all of that. And um, that it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And, you know, uh, sure, I'll, I'll come this summer and I'll light some euros on fire and I'll help the economy as I best as that. I can. Just, in, I'm holding just you do to my that. part. I'm holding you to that. That's fine with me. Constantine Marouis, ladies the and gentlemen. Best tour guide right here. We're going to take you to Greece. We're going to show him more places because there are a lot more places than Mykonos. I know that. <laughs> We're going to take you where your parents are born, where your grandparents are born. And, uh, Watch out for Kostimoulis, look him up and, and read up about what he's doing and follow him.